friends, this is Stephanie with Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me for today, Sunday, February 7th, 2021. This is episode number 28. This is a crochet podcast where I take you on my yarny adventure and share with you the shenanigans I got into this past week. And hopefully you find some sort of inspiration. So grab your favorite beverage, prop those feet up because you absolutely deserve to, and enjoy what I have to share with you. Now, I have a lot to share today. Lots of purchases were made this past week and I don't even have them all yet. Oh, and I have no finished objects and quite a few whips. That's just the week it is. And you know, oh well, it is what it is, right? So, check in some more of my caramel tea. For some reason when I do my um, recordings, I want caramel tea and I don't know why but I'm just gonna go with it it's really good um so anyways let's just get started so the first whip I'm going to show you guys is the year-long crochet along that Christy from crochet creations by Christy is doing um, it's the pineapple afghan. It's a free pattern. Um, she's doing this on her Facebook group. I'll be sure to link her down below. Um, basically what you do is make 12 squares, um, a square a month. And at the end of the year, you're going to put them all together and you're going to have a, a very beautiful blanket. Actually, it's very pretty. Um, I finished one square last month. Here it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and block it once I get some more squares. Um, finished and I went ahead this week and started square number two now after going through the first square the second square is coming along quite nicely so definitely I'm not quite half I'm on row seven so I'm not quite halfway there I'm almost halfway there I think um, 17 rows so yes uh, the yarn I'm using is Red Heart Soft and Charcoal. It is 100% acrylic, and they're in one, one of these. These are the bigger balls. There's 513 yards. Um, I only have two balls because when I when she first announced it, I was on the shelf if I wanted to do um, 12 squares the same color, and then I was on the fence if I wanted to use cake yarn. But I end up with going with the charcoal. But I didn't know if I wanted to do all 12 squares in the charcoal or if I wanted, there was this like seafoam green kind of as well too, and maybe some white, but still on the fence about it. But I think I'm actually going to probably just keep it all gray um, because the square itself is beautiful. So I may change my mind down the road, but we'll see. So there's that. And... The next whip, which didn't get a lot of love this week, but I do need to finish it up for the person that is getting it, is my easy peasy blanket. I always try and have something very simple going because there are just some days after a long day that you don't feel like working on anything hard. And I always have something easy going on for those kind of days. So I showed this in the past and I brought it out last week for the first time. It's actually bigger than I had originally thought but it's just a simple striped uh, large striped blanket um, I finished off the white and I went ahead and started with this terracotta rose color not a whole lot of progress I worked on it last night probably about half an hour I was trying to fin up, finish up an episode of something so I pulled it out before I went to bed so I got a few rows on it I don't know if you guys can see the stitch marker is here I put a few rows on it so I'm going to finish off, I think there's 25 rows of this terracotta rose color and I'll finish it off and it'll be going to its new home. So maybe this week, we'll see. I have lots, I realize I have lots of things going on and there's a lot of cows that I want to participate in, but I simply need to stop joining them um, because I'm falling behind on my other things that I need to make. But that's okay. That's where we're at for now. Um, the yarn I'm using for that blanket is Bernat Velvet. Um, 
100% polyester, five bulky and white, and Burnett Baby Velvet in Terracotta Rose. Um, I got the Baby Velvet on clearance for $5.47 at Joann's. One time I by chance stopped in there, and <laughs> I grabbed a bunch of it. I have enough to make another blanket, um, so I may do that as well too. So just to use up the yarn and get it moved along. Um, this pattern I'm using for that is just a simple V-stitch. Nothing fancy. I'm just kind of letting the texture speak for itself. It's so soft. So, so soft. Very nice. Very lovely blanket to want to cuddle with. And the other, and see the, the pineapple afghan is a large project broken down into smaller parts. The V-stitch blanket is not a larger project. It's easy, but it's larger. It's a blanket. And then I have my Let It Snow blanket, which is a large blanket as well. Um, let me show you the pattern. The Let It Snow blanket, I've been showing that for the past few weeks. This I got this out of um, Annie's catalog. Um, the design is by Brianna Kepner. Um, so I purchased Annie's catalog, uh, magazine. For, there's quite a few patterns in there that I want to do so this is the first one that really caught my eye and I did put some progress if you guys remember last week I had progress then I had to rip it out and reprogress so I went past where I had to stop and rip out I got some bobbins hanging here which is pulling the top down but So I got the bottom part of the S in snow. That's just the bottom part. And I'm starting the next letters. So I'm moving on because it's at an angle. So everything's going to be up in an angle. On the other side's my bobbins. Because that's what I use as bobbins for draft hands. This is where I was last time. And this is, that there is after I made progress on like eight rows, I think. And then had to rip it out. Because I used the wrong hook because I wasn't paying attention and so now since last Sunday since I showed you guys I've worked on it I really enjoy working on this this is my favorite item to work on I wish I could work on it every day but I have some things that I need to complete this week um, I was also working on the ornaments for my friends that I did the ornament exchange to so I made a comment there sometime in January to them I'm like oh I'm shooting for Valentine's Day and I was just joking I was hoping to have it done before Valentine's Day but it looks like it's going to be Valentine's Day because I only have a couple more to make. Two more, I think. And then i got to get their packages ready and set off to them. So I can't show you guys that. Um, Christy will be receiving one. Kim will be receiving one. So you'll be able to see it on their shows what I made them. But anyways, so I was working on that this week. Um, the other thing that I was working on is a gnome from when I did... The 12 Days of Gnomes with Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy. Um, her and I made 12 gnomes. She made six. I made six. We took turns uh, sharing our gnomes. And I had a message from someone requesting that um, requesting that I make two of the winter gnomes for her. And so I'm gonna get I told her I would, but I needed some time because I had at the time I had a lot of things going on. And so I, I'm actually able to get that started. There's the winter gnome, just the bottom. So I should be able to finish this off in about an evening. I only get to crochet when my daughter goes to bed. So when she goes to bed and stuff, that's when I can sit down and crochet. So I could probably finish it up one night or even close to it. Maybe a night and a couple hours of another night. This is the winter gnome. I should have grabbed the other one from... When I did the 12 days of gnomes with Christy to show you guys um, if you have if you don't remember um, just refer back to that um, move that out. so yeah it's just the bottom the yarn I'm using is the same as the other one won't ease um, line brand which is it's called white multi it's white it's got this pearlescent sparkle running through it and it is 
162 yards in a skein. And I forgot to show you guys the yarn I'm using for the lightest snow blanket. I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, I'm trying to find the fiber content. Where is it? Well, they're just not making this easy for me, are they? Acrylic and polyester. Oh, there it is. Aha! Acrylic, 78%, wool, 19%, and polyester, 3%. Well. Um, I bought it a long time ago, and it was sitting on my shelf, and when I saw it, I was like, that's going to make a perfect gnome. And that's how the winter gnome came about. Let me go back to the yarn I'm using for the Let It Snow blanket. I'm using Big Twist Classic, which I am in love with this yarn. Um, I actually just ordered some more, which you guys will see later in my acquisitions section of the video. Um, white, black, and gray. So those three colors make up that blanket there. Sorry, I just, it's been a crazy day. It's been a crazy week and I just fell not together all week. But I don't know if I'm in some sort of funk or what, but I'm just going with it. Thanks for bearing with me. We'll get through this together. Okay, so now there's like yarn fiber flying everywhere and on my nose. So the other whip I have going on is the, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. It's a wrap mouth that Kim from the Crappy Nomad and Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy are doing together. Um, I decided that I needed to do um, pull out some old whips that I put off to the side because of other things you know we all go through it you just put something off to the side to start something new um, and I have quite a few I went through last fall and got rid of the whips that I, I don't plan on finishing and kept the whips that I do want to finish but I need to finish those whips like I need to get them completed right so um, amongst that as well too I have been doing some I got some of those um, storage totes off of Amazon that a lot of other podcasters have with the doors, the clear door, like the frosted doors and they're black or whatever. I got a, a few of those. So I've been organizing my yarn lately, um, which is actually a lot of fun. It's like yarn shopping because I'm finding yarns that I forgot I had, which is pretty awesome. But anyways, um, I decided that amongst doing that I need to finish these whips that I have hanging out for a while and so I pulled out this one this is gonna be my first one I'm gonna say this I think this is the oldest whip I have going too so it's the tree of life Afghan hopefully you guys can see that because I can't see you so beautiful it's basically cable work is what it is front post back post um these trees and they're like this is flower design in the middle center panel and another panel trees so i'm doing this for the it's a wrap now for with kim and christy that that they're doing um and i know i posted it on my business page on on Facebook that I had started it so I decided to go back to see when I did that January 2019 is when I started that I thought it was last year no see how time just flies we're already in February 2021 and I started that blanket in January 2019 so it's a two-year-old whip that I need to get done so Definitely, I, I have, oh, see, I didn't even, sh I told you I'm all out of sorts, guys, all out of sorts. So I was able to sit down one night and I had to find where I was on, on the pattern. I write notes down all the time 
Um, I have just some little notebooks. I write notes down. Uh, changes to patterns that I've made. Um, hooks, stitch count, row counting, so I know what row I'm on. Yeah, you know, any details I need to know. So I found that and found where I was at on the pattern, where, you know, I had special notes in there for the pattern of hooks. So we figured out what those meant. And so that took a little bit of time and I was able to, to get some stitches done. So um, probably about seven, seven, or no, seven rows or so done on that. So not a whole lot. I'm on an easy part right now where you're just building up the trunks of the trees. Um, so yes, I am very excited about that. Um, I love this color that I chose for it. Um, I am very excited about getting that done and off my hooks. Let's put this back. The yarn I'm using is Pound of Love in Clarets. And the, it's a four medium. A thousand, a thousand percent. 100% premium acrylic and then there are 1,020 yards in one ball. Bear with me guys, I swear I will get through this one way or another. The pattern I'm using is from Lion Brand. Um, it's the Tree of Life Afghan. I'm not sure if they have it on their website still. Um, it's actually inspired by a knitted pattern. Um, so don't mind the, I'll show you the pattern. It was free. My daughter wrote it all over it. I started in 2019, which would have mean she was four. And she, this was the start of her doodling. I find doodles of hers all the time. Anytime she can find a piece of paper to doodle on, she's doodling on it. So she knows now which ones that she can't, which is related to my crochet stuff. When she was four, she did not. That's when she was learning to, to what she can and can't write on. So that's okay. Those are all my whips, guys. I have, I need to get, I'll get the gnome finished this week. I'll get my ornaments finished this week for my friends to get those mailed off to them. Um, I like having at least one finished object. And I'm only being hard on myself. I like to have one finished object from to share with you guys. Because the sense of something being accomplished, you know, it just... It inspires me to to have a finished item and whatever I don't have any this week it is what it is and it won't be the last time it's not the first time so anyways next week next week I will though so let's move on to the um, the year-long challenge that I'm hosting um, Attack of the Amigurumi 2021. Um, so I announced last week that February is going to be Polar Bears. That was chosen by my daughter. Now, I was on a manhunt for a particular yarn, like a fur yarn in white. And everywhere was out of stock. I couldn't find it. So when I was talking with Christy one night, um, we... And then last week, a week and a half ago, whatever, um, I decided to use a different kind of yarn. So all week I've been waiting for this yarn, but I'll get into that shortly. Anyways, I'll also update the picture on Facebook of the yarn I'm using. Um, so if anybody's interested in doing the same thing or getting any ideas, you can do that as well. The pattern I'm doing is Peppermint the Polar Bear. It is a paper pattern on a Ravelry by Crystallized Designs. And it is just the cutest. And it even has a little scarf, which I'm going to make with it too. And she used fur yarn, which like I said, I couldn't find any in white. So I went with something else. Um, and it just, it all came yesterday. So I could finally start on my polar bear. I really wanted to get started on my polar bear a while ago. So if you are a newer viewer, Go ahead and check out my Facebook group. It's going to be linked down below. 
every month I am doing a different theme, whether it be a different animal or a wide range theme of amigurumi because I wanted to perfect my amigurumi skills. Um, we make something in that theme, have it done by the end of the month. I do a drawing for a winner for the yarn that I've posted I'm giving away. And if you participate in every single month, there's going to be a grand prize for that person. So be sure to try to participate every month if you can. If not, that's okay because you might be able to still get that month's prize. I love seeing everybody's uh, pictures, their whips. So you'll, there's going to be one post for the in, initial announcement. That's where you can post your whips, your questions, um, pattern ideas. Um, if, if you're looking for a pattern, you know, and you have a question, like where should I, where sh does anybody have a suggestion for this month's theme? Go there. But if you have a finished amigurumi for that theme, like this month is February, make sure you go to the February post and post your finished polar bear there. So I'm very excited. And then this month I'm giving away two skeins of Red Heart with Love and Delightful. It is 180 yards, 100% acrylic. Very pretty with one of the stitch markers that I made that I've learned when I was um, doing projects with Christy. When we did the mystery crochet along, I we were going to do the stitch markers and that's when I learned how to make a stitch marker. So, that is what you can win this month. Two skeins of that. I haven't started my polar bear because I just got the yarn yesterday. And with that note, now it's time to move on to my crazy amounts of yarn purchases that I've done this past week. Now, I only bought from two places. Michael's, which I had a $40 voucher that I couldn't pass up. Um, it's coming in multiple packages. I actually don't even have it all yet. So it should all be arriving this week. I did get a, I paid through PayPal the, the remaining amount that I had to pay for that the $40 didn't cover, um, that I had a reimbursement of $2.99. I haven't got an email from Michaels yet of what that was. I don't know. Nothing cost $2.99. Um, so I don't know. I have to keep going back to my order to see what I got. I did open some of the packages up, but I also have an order from Joann's um, because I was looking for for yarn and ended up finding um, some good sales. I didn't open that up. And then I also got to open up my, um, the hand dyed yarn I'm going to do every other week that I'm buying from a shop on Etsy, um, from a shop that's has 500 sales or less buying their hand dyed yard doing a small review on it um and then if anybody else likes it you know you can go see check out their shop stuff like that so i'm going to pause here real quick because i got to clear my table and bring in my yarn because it all this won't fit on my table in front of me yeah i'll be back in one second okay i'm back so i had to move things around for space because like I said I got some boxes here I got some bags um just pure craziness and like I said earlier I've been organizing my yarn I have a large a, I have quite a collection and I'm very proud of it because um as fiber artists and stuff you know we don't buy yarn at full price no you either have coupons or you wait for a sale and that's the time to stock up and over the years, it adds up. So, and it's really nice that as I'm organizing it, I'm finding my creative juices are going, which is also slowing me down because I'm like, oh, I think I know a pattern for this yarn. So now I've got more yarn to add to my collection. So let's get started, okay? We're gonna start with my Michael's order. I still have everything in the bags. I did open some of them up. Um, every, I basically opened everything up. I didn't look at everything, but I opened it up to save some time. So the first package of many from Michaels is this. It's very stuck. Oh, okay. It is 
the caram cake latte cakes. And I these were on sale for $3.99, so I couldn't pass them up. So, and I didn't know what I was going to make with them. And the labels are all tore up, but that's okay. So when I don't know what I'm going to make with something, I buy, I have my tea sitting here, I'm trying not to spill it. I buy a blanket's worth. So I bought five of this colorway. It is so pretty. Gray, some light gray, some uh, medium gray, and that green in there is just gorgeous. The colorway is olive mint. It's 58% acrylic, 42% nylon, a five bulky, and there's 530 yards. So like I said, I got five of these, so um, I can... What I didn't plan for is what I'm going to do with it after I take it out of these packages. Like I said, I have no space left on my table. That's how much. And every day I come home from work, if my husband beat me home, he brought the packages in. If not, then I brought, like, every day I had a package this week. So, yes, I can't wait to use that. I have some latte cakes. I haven't used them yet. And, you know, amongst the organization of Fun Yarn, I really need to get some of these yarns that I just adore used up like these latte cakes. I need to make something with them. I was gifted from my uh, local yarny friend, Becky. I was gifted, um, I think it's Kissy Kiss or Kissy Kissy or something like that. It's gorgeous. Um, so I want to make myself something with that. I want to make myself a blanket. So I need to get these things used up like some of my cakes. The other package that I received is Okay, these were $3.99 as well. The Karen Cakes. I got two of these. And this is uh, Dusted Cream. It is 445 yards, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. I, I like that a lot. So I went on a, another cake kick. They were three ninety nine. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Okay. And then I got a, another package with one in it. It looks like. Oh. Okay. I got this care, uh, latte cake. Now I did order five of these, but I only have one. This is strawberry flambe. Um, five bulky, 58% acrylic, 40%, 42% nylon, 530 yards. And it's got your grays, a light gray, a medium gray, and a, like a light dusty pink and a medium, like pink rosy color. Very pretty. Um, so yeah, I got four more of these coming. Like I said, I ordered blankets quantity just in case, cause I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. And I want to prepare if I'm going to go Toward, if I lean towards the um, blanket idea. So then I have a box here, which has some paper on top. Okay. This, I got more Karen Cakes. I can't, I mean, I don't use a lot of Karen Cakes, but I love them. I love the colors. I do want to start making things with the Karen Cakes once I get some things off my plate here. Um, Karen Cakes. And let's see here. It is, I got two of these, almond crumble, 80% acrylic, 20% wool, and 445 yards, and it's a four medium. These tans and whites, off-white, these different shades of brown, I just loved it. Love, love, love. And then the other thing in that box is two other cakes of Karen cakes and same thing 80% acrylic 20% wool 445 yards this is sugar cherry but that was pretty different shades of purple and that medium rose pink color um, they're wound differently they're the same colorway but they're just wound differently so that's the other thing that I don't like about cakes is I try and when I was buying them in the store, I was trying to match up 
how they were wound up, but that's okay. We can make this work. Um, got to let my OCD go a little bit, but we'll get, we'll manage, right? Okay. So now I can, I got to the box. Now I can put things in the box. I'm very excited to put these in my new organization system that I have going on. And then the other thing I got from Michaels is I wanted to get more skeins of the um, Red Heart Soft and Charcoal, but they were out of stock online. So I got to do that the next time I go to the store is look for that. Um, I did get this Red Heart Soft and Leaf. I got three of those. And... These are the small skeins, like the one I'm using for the squares, they're the bigger skeins. So these small skeins have 256 yards, 100% acrylic, and it's a four medium weight. Love this color. I wanted to get some colors um, of this Red Heart Soft because I'm really liking how it's working out the no squares. So I wanted to try some other things with it and see what I can come up with. And then I also got um, three of dark leaf. So same thing, 256 yards, four medium, 100% acrylic. So my initial thought would be to make something with these two together with maybe a white um i did get um a couple years ago maybe in 2019 i made these avocados um that sold on my etsy shop and then i just had a message this week asking if i can make um, two more avocados so i may actually use this for the avocados i'm not sure i have to dig out and see what i use for the other avocados so ugh, we're not done yet we're not done yet. Nope. I got two more boxes over here. And then I got to do my hand dyed yarn. These other two boxes are from Joann's. And I got more coming from Michael's too. So I'll have more of that to show you guys next week. Let me tell you about my Joann's box. So I ordered it two Tuesdays ago with Christy. Christy got hers like that Thursday. And I just got mine yesterday. So my boxes, I live in central Pennsylvania. My boxes traveled to multiple locations in North Carolina. Then they went to West Virginia and they finally made their way into Pennsylvania on Thursday, this past Thursday. So they just been out on tour, running around, just sightseeing. And they finally made their way yesterday. So I haven't opened them yet. Um, two boxes. Let's see here. And I, I, I just can't pass up a good, a good sale. So. On this box here. Off the top. Is not what I thought I got. Yes, it is. Okay. Sorry for the long pause. I forgot I was experiment not experimenting, but I wanted to try some other yarns and I thought this was something else. And I was like, this is not what I thought I purchased, but okay, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. So off the top here, I got some of this big twist soft. I haven't used it. I don't have it in my collection, and I figured I Add some to my collection with it and see what it's like. I got this color here. Big, big twist soft. 320 yards. Um, four medium and 100% acrylic. And this is... Where's the color? Blush. I'm on this like dusty pink color phase right now. I just love this color. Um, so yes, I got three of those. I think. I don't remember everything I ordered. 
So there may be more. Then I also got in Big Twist Soft, I got white. And I'm pretty sure I got it to go with the blush. There's some box con box fiber box pieces on my white yarn. So I got that. More than likely to go with this. And then, oh, okay. I also got, I got three skeins of the white and I got three skeins of taupe. So my thought process, now that's all coming back to me, is, look how gorgeous that would be. Taupe, blush, and white. And I have enough for a blanket, a decent sized blanket. So, yes. Nice, nice, nice. I can't wait to use it. I haven't used the Big Twist Soft yet. Um, I don't think I've seen it in my Joann's. So, I'm very interested to see the difference between their Big Twist and Big Twist Soft. Oh, also in this box is my pipsqueak yarn that I'm using for my polar bear. So I'm very excited. I'm hoping this works out well. So I ended up getting four skeins of this in white. Whitey white is what it's called. It's a five bulky, 100% polyester, 101 yards. I thought there was more yards than that. Man, see, I looked at so many yarns that I can't remember now, but I need a four total because I'm going to hold two together because he's a larger bear. 100% um, polyester. So, yes. Um, this is going to be a cool polar bear. I hope it works out. I fear one thing. I never purchased this yarn before because I feared that you couldn't see the stitches when you're working with it. So we will see. Oh, it's so soft though. My hands are dry and it's just sticking to my hands. Um, very soft. I'm very excited. I'm hoping it works out. Um, if not, I'll just have to make some modifications, but I'm hoping that holding two strands together, I can still see the stitches, you know, but yes, so soft. So, that's in box number one. Let me move this box so I can have some space. Okay. The other box. Oh, right off the top. See, the, the other thing is they didn't put anything in bags. So I feel like my white, hopefully, I've had situations in the past where I've ordered from um, other places where they didn't put the, they didn't put the yarn in the bags, the clear plastic bags. And that's usually why I order in multiples of three. Um, is to get the plastic bags, um, especially for the white yarn, because I've had situations where the white yarn come in dirty because it wasn't, I think it's was through Hirschner's, and it was, it just looked awful. And, you know, I emailed them about it and stuff and they fixed it, but. So in this box, oh boy, I bought three skeins of this Buttercream Luxe Craft Angel Hair. Bought three skeins of that. And when I was talking to Christy, we were shopping together. She was telling me how lovely this yarn was. And so I decided to get some. And oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. Like this would make an, an amazing scarf. Like that's probably what I'm going to make with it. So it's 49% acrylic, 30% polyamide, and 21% wool. This color is rose. Like I said, I'm on this pink kick. And I'm not a pink person. Um, I had a hard time. There's 110 yards. And it's a five bulky. I had a hard time deciding what color I wanted. Because they're all so pretty. And I added, I, I added this to my cart. Because I liked it. And then I went to add some other ones. And it said... Um, the quantity you selected is not available. So 
Ah, uh, I just stuck with these. Uh, the other thing in this box is Big Twist Classic. I'm loving this yarn since I started the Let It Snow Blanket. Um, and I, when I did, I used it for the cow that Chrissy did, her make along, or her um, crochet along on her lives that she's releasing. Um, I made a cowl out of uh, off-white, and I just love this yarn. I was never a five bulky kind of person, but lately uh, it's been getting me. I just like this five bulky. Um, and there is, this is 100% acrylic, 420 yards, and it's called Purple Multi. So she got a skein of this color, and I was like, I love it. So I had to get myself two skeins. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it. Um, I only did buy two skeins. Typically, I probably would have bought four for a blankets quantity, but I didn't. I bought two. I don't want to get too crazy, I guess. And the other one I got because of Christy. I thought I ordered three of these, but apparently I didn't. I'll have to go back in my order. I swear I got three of these. This blush color. That she's making a baby blanket out of 690 yards and it's a five bulky and 100% acrylic I believe I just want to make sure yeah 100% acrylic this is blush there's more of that pink again I, I got a lot of that pink I thought I ordered three of these I'm gonna have to go back to my order and make sure that I did not order Three, but I may have just ordered two. I kept moving things around in my cart, so I may have just ended up ordering two. And the colors they have online versus, you know, what they have in the store is much different. Um, I also got some of this orange color. Now that is coming up bright on, there's a box was on there. We'll use that. This is coming up bright. It is not that bright. It's more of a muted orange. Not muted. Um, it's not that, that bright. Um, it's orange, but it's more of a, like a darker orange. So yes, I like that. I stick a fall with that. And then the other color I got was beige now when i when i think of beige and that's why i got this color when i think of beige i think of more um a lighter tan so when they were showing it online i was like well that's interesting that seems really dark for a beige um and it is it's darker than what i would consider beige i mean it's a light tan it's a tan but i, I would expect closer to off white than brown do you know what I mean but I like it and maybe you pair this up with see don't go buy this orange that's bright um pair this up with some off-white you can have something very beautiful in the end so yes that's my Joanne's order I do want to remember to go back and check this blush color because I thought I got three of them so we shall see and one last thing to open is the um, hand dyed yarn that I've been purchasing because I wanted to do a subscription, um, but I didn't know what to do. I was going to do like a Mary Maxim and something, um, but I decided that I want to um, support these really small Etsy shops. They're trying to get going. Um, it's, sometimes it's not easy um, to do that. So I wanted to help with those people. So I'm buying hand dyed yarn from um, Etsy shops that have 500 sales or less. So I'm opening one up every other week and today's the day for that. Might as well, I bought all this other yarn, right? Might as well throw in some hand dyed as well too. So let's see here. Haven't looked at it yet. This one. Says Sarah, oh, Animore 
anemone and vine handmade designs and fibers and my total I bought Oh, that's cool. She wrote a hand note on my order here. My um, receipt. Um, slip. Packing slip. I knew the words were there. It says, thank you so much for your order. I hope it brings you joy. As a thank you, here's a code for 20% off your next purchase. And she puts a code there. Very exciting. Sarah Gordon is her name. So, let's see what else is inside here. She put, beautiful, look at that pink. A dusty pink color again. Rosy, dusty pink. That's her package. And she wrapped it in brown paper. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that. That is very pretty. This is gum wall. It's 75%, 75-25% superwash merino nylon blend. And she put a die date on here of November 2019. 437 yards. And I got two stain, two hangs. Let me show you guys. That is very pretty. I like it. I like that a lot. That is absolutely gorgeous. Very soft. The colors are very, very vibrant. I like it. So she did a very, uh, uh, did an amazing job of dyeing this yard. Um, definitely will be looking into her in the future. Um, I'll be sure to link her down below. Go check that out. I like that. Anemone and Vine. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what we're going to go with today. Um, and then she put her little tags on the yarn as well too, which I like because um, when I put these away, I and pull them out in the future I'll be able to know what they what they are so thank you so much um love 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 this love these colors I'm thinking something for my daughter with this because these are like when you ask my daughter what her favorite color is she just rattles off all the colors so I'm thinking some sort of cow for my daughter I think she'll really enjoy that so yes very very pretty i like that so i think that's it i think i have kept you guys for quite some time um yeah i don't have anything else to show share talk about come on i'm finally done Okay, so on that note, <clears throat> thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for following, subscribing, the comments, sharing on Facebook. I, I enjoy all of it. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and watch me. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. And until next week, um, be sure to keep those that you oh. have a fabulous week. And until Sunday, keep that yarn running through those fingers. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.